home now and it's been another chaotic week on Twitter with legacy blue ticks disappearing from the profiles of thousands of verified users. It's caused confusion and a backflip from owner Elon Musk who has given many celebrities a new blue tick free of charge. Image Matrix Tech editor Juro Sen, what's happened to your blue tick? Timmy, good morning. Uh, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone, mate. And uh, I've had it for a fair while, but uh, it is gone. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to pay. I might do it, but uh, the $13 a month uh, to get another blue tick is one thing. But it doesn't really prove you are, Tim. So I actually recorded it when I went missing. And uh, I actually got this note the other day. Well, for 13 years on Twitter, I've actually been on that a little longer if handle. But there you see, Euro sent with a tick, and then bang, there it goes, wiped away. No blue tick. So a little bit sad, but I do know who I am. And what happened was that things, there were a few fake things, like this Disney one. And this was a fake Disney account. It was a bit crude too. And uh, it got through and got authorised before getting suspended with a business account. So these things are still slipping through. So it's a little bit chaotic in all that stuff, Tim. So um, I think the, the proving of who you are is still a big deal and can be confusing. Confusing. I know you and I spoke about it through the week, uh, that uh, how do you actually know if someone is who they are? And if you've already followed them, that's easy. But if there's someone new who's on the uh, Twitterverse, you might not be sure. So it has been chaotic, um, but uh, yes, the links include things are gone. But, you know, apparently if you've got over a million in your celebrity, you're going to keep, keep one or get one for free. So... Forget if it's our, our, us battlers, we're going to have to stump up third of them up some. Yeah, my, my, blue t- my blue tick's gone gone to the dogs as well. Now, a new, <laughs> a new cyber security report has found smart TVs are most vulnerable to attack. Tell us more. Yeah, Tim, this is the uh, Bitdefender and Netgear 2023 report on IoT security. And I, it makes us some sobering reading because uh, we have all these devices in our home and uh, the most vulnerable to attacks is actually your smart TV at 52%. And then there's, there's a smart plugs at 13%. Then your router at 9%. Many people get a router and never update the password. And it's usually simple. These are easy vectors to get into your home. You, know, you look at all these devices. Australians have an average, like, I think around 20 IoT devices. America, like 46. And I think there's a, an average of eight attacks a day on a home. So we are little networks, and the bad guys are out there trying to get us. And so if you look at smart TVs, for example, Tim, uh, they're adding cameras to them to do physical exercises, to do calls, that sort of stuff, and that sort of started the pandemic. So uh, this report really says to me that um, manufacturers have to be switched on to really shore up our home in terms of keeping out the bad guys. It's a reminder to us, Barry, that you switch on the wall, TV can be a vector somewhere in, unlikely, but it can happen. Now, Oppo's flip phone just got a little smarter, buddy. Yeah, I really like this. This is a competitor to the uh, Samsung flip. But see that big screen there? They've got an update to it. This is what I really wanted to see from Oppo, and it's great to see. So we, we saw that uh, you can do great things like sitting it down and take photos of yourself, swiping through it like you can see on the screen now makes that screen look a mini telephone, really. But what they've done is they've partnered up with uh, Spotify. You now they've got a, a widget for that as well. So you can actually go through that on the front of your phone without having to open it up. That's the key. And as you can see, you can go through your album art uh, or your favourites and, and, and stuff like that. But it doesn't end there because they've also got to the messages component. So you can either do this with your hand, but they've also added speech to text. So you're able to talk, just send the message back, they're not canned results. You can actually do a proper message. So what I like about this phone is that it's really starting to unleash that screen on the front. And I think Samsung, when they bring out their phone later in the year, I think they really need to go for a larger screen because even though it's great opened up, Tim, it's so much more usable when it's just folded over and it's, like, tougher as well. So it's a good move there. That update, by the way, is right now available. I downloaded it last night from Oppo. It seems like DJI are putting out a new drone every week. Tim, they are, and this is amazing. This new drone, <laughs> in fact, it's not every week, but it seems like it, but this new drone is something that people should look at. 
So this is the new, um, essentially the, the uh, so a semi-professional drone, but I think this drone, this DJI Mavic 3 Pro and the Cine Pro is extraordinary. Three lenses. They've got the wide angle, three times zoom and the seven times zoom. Look at the cinematic shots you can do. The other advantage, Jim, is you can shoot uh, subjects from a long way away so you're not disrupting them. Look at that. That's called compression. So that means you can get all the objects that uh, are far away looking like it's right up close. This is a game-changing drone. So it's the new Mavic 3 Pro, starting price around $4,000 and goes up for there, the two models. But you can see the three different angles you can get from the one drone. This is a pretty hot unit. And I cannot wait to get some material to show you. I think you're getting a nice couple of aerials up at your place. It'll be a good start. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. They look spectacular. Look at the giraffes. Good on you, mate. As always, uh, A plus from me. I will talk to you soon. You'd have a tick if I was in, involved or in yeah, control. I, I, I'll still follow you on, t on Twitter, mate. It's, it's okay. <laughs> All 